So today I'm going to show you a quick how to set a tutorial thing, whatever, about the infamous skill or infamous skill tree, which was recently included in patch 22. And um, yeah, I will tell you how it actually works, what it gives you, and what you will lose, etc. Uh, yeah. So basically, to start up, uh, I will take the infamous skill tree first. That's the one here. Um, you probably won't be able to. Uh, you will be able to access it. However, you will not be able to buy anything. Um, these question marks are here because the these skills here are not yet available. How you can read? Uh, Oracle will include these things here later. In total, these are 14 infamous skills. You can count them if you want to, and. Each of them will cost exactly one infamous skill point. You get one infamous skill point for each 100 levels you gain in Payday 2. So the regular 100 levels you get uh, one infamous skill point and it will not change. It will always be one infamous skill point for each skill here. So you can unlock everything in the end if you are level 14 infamy, level 100. Um, so in fact what you get is, uh, for now you have more luck for infamous items here, if you buy the base it's twice as how the ratio of infamous item drops. Also you will have to pay less for the skills uh, you can buy for like mastermind etc. And you have to gain less experience to level up for each level. It is every time reduced by 5%, I can see here, every time 5%. Also, it's like this part here, this row here is uh, Mastermind, this one here is uh, Enforcer, Technician and Ghost. I don't know what's the last one will be, however, they are like specified in these trees. Uh, and with every skill from tier 1 here you buy, uh, you, your experience level up will be reduced by 5% every time. However, uh, I don't know how it will be in tier 2, 3 or 4, what you will get there, if Oracle will include this later, but I most likely think they will be based on the skill trees here, like Ghost, uh, Technician, and Force Mastermind, as I told you uh, before already. And you will not be able to respect the skill tree. Uh, you can see there's no way to respect your skill tree anywhere, uh, so one spot it will stay in there. Also. Uh, when buying these skills here, you will get one exclusive mask pattern and material. Um, these three things can always be bought or actually taken because you never have to buy them anyways they, and they will only exist once. So this doesn't mean that you will lose it once you sell it or remove it. Uh, you will basically just drop it back to your inventory. Let's check this out. Uh, when you look at the regular masks here, it says sell masks, so you will sell it and lose it. But if you check the infamous items, like let's take the ghost one here, we can like take it for totally free. Check my money for 63 key. Sell 63 key. And if you want to customize it, let's take this tree pattern here. Oh, fuck, it's actually pretty expensive. Anyways, let's take this one, finalize the mask, and now we, we, we say like, oh damn it, this looks fucking stupid, we want uh, to change it. You cannot change it, except you return your mask to your inventory, which I just did. And you will now see that it is back, uh, that it is back in the infamous inventory. So, you can always return it to back to your infamy, uh, infamous inventory, and then take it back later, again, to create another mask. However, it will not uh, give you any money back. So t choose wisely what you do here. Ex especially because every time when you level up uh, to one in Fami level, which you can see in front of your actual uh, level, in Romanian numbers, like level 1 is, will be an I, level 2 will be two I's, then three I's, then uh, I, V, then V, then V, I, etc. Uh, what was I wanted to tell about? just forgot. Yeah, right, if you want to level up one in family level, 
you will lose your total spending cash. It's this one here. It will be reset to zero. However, you will keep your offshore account. Except for 200 million offshore. You will, for each infamy level, you will lose 200 million offshore money. So, um, you will have to gain lots of offshore money to be able to level up to infamy level uh, 14 which is currently not available, it's only level 5 available to buy each of these skills here. So this is actually all you need to know. Uh, when you respect your... Uh, when you become infamy, or let's say when you reach level 100, you will see below this infamous option here a become infamy button, where it tells you what you will lose, etc. if you select it. Uh, the stupid thing is that you will also uh, lose the total three skills thing here, you also like this will be all set to zero and you will have to gain them again. However, it will become cheaper because if you buy one of these uh, infamy skills here, it will always be reduced by 10% depending on which of these infamy skills you buy. Yeah, this is for now actually everything you need to know. Uh, if you want to n find out how to level up really fast, uh, and don't lose that much offshore money. Simply check out one of the other videos I uploaded so, uh, or something about Payday 2. Um, fastest level XP gaining or something like that. I will post a link in the description. Um, there you can see probably the most fastest way to gain experience and don't lose that much of offshore account because Rats is actually the worst uh, highest you can select for leveling up and losing less of offshore because it takes fucking a lot of offshore. Yeah, this is it. Hope you like it. Uh, I hope you understand how the infamous skills tree thing is now working, the infamous system. And yeah, like the video if you understand.